Here's an easy way to make a stool. I'm going to be using this for my sci-fi prison. I'm going to bring in a circle. Make it 20 vertices. I'm going to scale in like that. And F to make a face. Take this edge and I'm going to extrude it down. Shift Alt and click that edge. Control B to bevel. I'll put one subdivision there. Shift Alt and click that one. And bevel, but I want no segments in there. Just want that area like that. And then in face selection, Shift Alt and click that and extrude it down a bit. If I go Control 2, I get this effect, I can come back up here now and I can take this edge, I can scale it on just a little bit, or a little bit rounder. I don't want this sharp edge, so in edge selection I'll take this E and S and I'll pull it in. Just decide if that's the shape that I like. I'm going to pull this up. I might scale this in the Z to make it all a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's there's the top right there. Um, I might select that edge and bevel this as well. Just do this, pull it, and put one subdivision. Just to make it a little bit sharper. If that bothers me a little bit, I might take this and pull it out. Don't need it quite as sharp. Okay, so there's the top. You're not going to see underneath it, so I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Okay, let's make the rest of it. Select a circle like that. Shift D. Pull it down. P. Break it out. And select that and scale it in. Push it under. And then extrude down like this. We'll make a section with thread on there. Now I'm going to make this as one piece. You might want to do it as two. I'm going to select that scale shift Z to make it a little narrower like that. I'm going to come back in and shift it all to click there. And E and S come out of ways. E and come down. Do something like that, and then we'll add some edge loops here. Just gonna pull one down here, pull one up here. Shade smooth. Bring another edge loop in here. Maybe one more out here, not right to the edge. I want it soft, I don't want it too, too hard. Let's come in and put some sort of fake thread. Control R, roll my mouse up to five or six like that and control B and pull roll your mouse back to zero so you just have that space and pull it as much as you want I'm holding shift so I go a little bit slower E and alt S and push all right if we want this sharper we could select all these edges I'm holding down shift and alt we can select all these edges here And we can go Shift E and pull. That's fine with me right there like that. Okay, this piece I'm feeling is a little bit too wide now that I think about it. So I think in face selection I'll Shift and Alt and click there. And then I'll Control Plus to grow my selection until I think I've got it where I need it. And then I'm going to scale Shift Z. And I can do that to make it a little bit narrower. Okay, something like, something like that. Okay, now I'm going to select the circle again. Shift D and pull it down. I'm going to scale it out. 
Okay, I'm gonna break it out. I'm gonna make the part where that the legs attached to. So just choose a size that you think looks good. I'm gonna extrude down a ways like this. Control R for edge loop and control B. Pull it out to near the end. Put one subdivision in like that. Shift Alt and click those and scale. Just do that. I'll shade smooth for now. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make the holes. So I'm going to select really the best way to probably do this is maybe grab these and scale these in the Z, make it a little bit more square in here. Okay, I press C for paint select or circle select. I think it's paint select. I'm going to press control one to go to the back and get those three to go to the side get those control three to go to the other side and get those just like that okay i'm going to press i to inset shift to go slower pull it in just a little bit switch over to individual origins right click choose loop tools circle and s the scale you got to be in individual origins for this i to inset just a little bit and now E and Alt S and pull, no push. In a way, it's an X faces to do that. Now I want to do something else on here. So what I'm going to do is uh, go into edit mode and wireframe and one for vertex selection. And I'm going to box select all this X vertices. Take this and I got my 3D cursor still there. Shift D, rotate Y 180. I'm going to pull this up. So I want a little bit of like a division between the two. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so you can adjust it to wherever you want it. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to add solidify. I'm going to choose uh, even thickness. And I'm going to put it above the subdivision. And that's probably okay just with the default thickness there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then I'm going to come in, and in edge selection, I'm just going to drag an edge loop in and out on the, both the top and the bottom. Okay. And we'll go back to median point. And just get the approximate size that you would want. Now to close this off, because we applied the um, solidify, we have to be a little bit careful here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to press E and S, pull it in. There we go. That's fine. And I'm going to pull it into about there, and then I'm going to bring another edge loop here. And shift alt and click there and extrude it up like that. And might put an edge loop. And if I want to tighten this up, I'll just put an edge loop here. That's that's probably okay. You can decide how tight you want it by putting more edge loops. Let's do that. Let's take this and we'll close it off as well. So what I'll do is I'll come underneath here. Shift Alt and click that edge there. Okay, I'm gonna press E and S and come in. And I think I'll E and come up a little bit. E and S come in. And just have a look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna scale that in. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Okay, so now we have that. And now what I'm gonna do is Shift A, Mesh Plane. Go into Edit Mode 1 and M, Merge at Center. I'll look from the side, and I'll just pull that point out. And it's not quite central, let's look at that. Right about in the middle of that. Okay. Pull it in a ways. I'm going to make the legs on this. 
just going to press E to extrude, and I'm going to come out just a little bit past there. And I'm going to come down. Let's try that. Select that point and Shift Alt B to bevel and pull, and I'm going to put five edges there. That's okay, just like that. I'll start with that and see how it goes. I'm going to convert this to a curve and come over to the curve dialog box under geometry and bevel and just start pulling that up till I get a thickness that I like or a size that I like that fits. I can shade smooth. I'll put a subdivision on that later. My 3D cursor is still right in the middle. I'm going to set the origin to that. And I can mirror that across. There we go, just like that. And I'll uh, shift the rotate Z 180. Nope, <laughs> rotate, rotate Z 90. Okay, now nah. I think I need to come out a little bit more. So I'll just box select those and pull them out. I'll get rid of these and I'll take this and I'll shift D rotate Z90 again. All right, something like that. Now I'm gonna come in and select one of those. Actually, I'm gonna take both of them. Shift D, P to break it out. And I've got that piece as a curve. I'm going to change the bevel size so it's like that, something like that. And I'm going to convert that to a mesh, but first I'll change the resolution to 4 and down here to 2. And I'm going to take that piece, object, convert to mesh. Let's see, we got that. I'm going to take this and pull it down, scale it in this and scale it out and I'm just going to take this and extrude it in and this thing extrude in a little bit like that and now I'm going to take that edge and I'll bevel it but I'll just put one segment and I'll do the same up here just a little bit smaller bevel and then we can try control one or control two select it and um, Let's go in and get rid of this one here. So we can just scale this a bit bigger. And maybe scale in the Z. Just figure out a size that you like. The 3D cursor is still in the middle, so I can just set the origin of the 3D cursor and mirror that. Shift D, rotate the Z. 90 and then you can just go back and tweak anything you want maybe the top is too small for this I think that looks better let's try the cavity shader and let's also make sure that all our polys are facing the right way and as you can see the top isn't now it is And there's your quick stool. 27,000. And that's what I'll be using for my scene.